My topic at this meeting was uh, virtually planned reconstruction. And essentially that's a computer software platform that surgeons are using to preoperatively plan uh, the reconstruction after uh, resection of cancers in the head and neck uh, on the computer in a virtual way and then translate that virtual plan to the operating room at the time of surgery. Uh, this technology uh, really came into play in the world of oncology in about 2008 or 9. Certainly in the late 90s and early 2000s the computer technology was there but its wide application and cancer applications for reconstruction in the head and neck really came about in the late 2000s. So essentially um, historically what would happen is a patient would have let's say for example a jaw tumor this tumor would require resection and they would lose a section of their jaw and that would be reconstructed with a piece of bone that's transplanted from the leg to reconstruct the jaw. And um, usually the surgeon would have to harvest the bone and then trim it to uh, appropriately fit. And because this was all done by hand, freehand style at that time, uh, there can be a lot of errors and you can be slightly off and the bite could be off or the symmetry of the patient's jaw could be off and then you would have those problems postoperatively which are difficult to deal with after everything is healed. So at the current time, a patient will come in and have a, a CAT scan performed before they have surgery. That data is imported into a software package and then I can log on with an engineer via GoToMeeting or one of those types of software platforms, plan the surgery virtually make my bone cuts in a virtual 3D world and then cutting guides are made and then manufactured by the company and sent to me prior to the patient's operation. Then the patient goes to surgery. Uh, when I need to do the resection of the mandible, I have guides that cut at, at the appropriate angles that I've planned. And there's another guide that fits onto the bone graft in the leg, for example, that matches those same angles so that when I bring that graft up, I know it's going to be exactly the shape and the size and the, and the way that it should be placed to maintain symmetry and function of the patient. So it allows us to predict what's going to happen before we get into the operating room, uh, whereas historically we had to kind of go into the operating room and then deal with what happened. Yes, the cost involved is interesting. Uh, it, it costs uh, about $2,000 to $5,000 US uh, per case depending on the complexity of the case. Uh, and there are several studies that have looked at this and of course that's always a concern but the interesting thing is that the cost of the uh, technology uh, is sometimes outweighed by the time savings in the operating room. So for example at my institution in New York City uh, an operating room costs about $75 a minute. So because you're not freehanding the bone grafts in a complex reconstruction, you can often perform the graft in a much faster way. So if you save an hour, you're saving three to four thousand dollars and that offsets the cost of the implant. So for complex cases, it actually uh, has, there's been some, uh, there have been some studies that have shown a cost savings. Uh, for simpler cases, of course, there's not a savings because the amount of time it takes uh, to use the technology is not outweighed by the cost of the technology. Recovery time is about the same because you're counting on the patient's physiology and healing. So it takes the same amount of time for bones to heal and soft tissues. So that's really unchanged. It's primarily the time in the operating room that's improved. Yeah, I, I think that uh, we're going to see in the future the cost of the technology come down as more companies enter the space and compete. Uh, in the healthcare industry, we'll see the cost come down. There'll be more widespread applications for software uh, and various software vendors. And as the cost comes down, it will become the standard of care, I think, for very complex reconstructions. Certainly, it is not currently worldwide av available at many major centers, but I think we are going to see in the future. And, and that's because the outcomes are much more predictable if you use it. You're, you're less likely to get surprised postoperatively by uh, symmetry problems or inadequate bone graft length problems, etc.